guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl brie and we are with a full set so it is friday we made it through the week i hope your week was fine but without further ado let's get into it because you know my intros and outros be really quick on my full sets so hurry up and grab your comfy snack and your drink and your blinky whatever it is and let's get into the video Alright, so as y'all know, the first step that I do is push back the cuticles. So I'm going in with my um, plastic cuticle pusher and I'm just pushing them back very gently, making sure that, you know, it's out of the way. So when I do the nail prep, I'm not nicking or, you know, hurting her cuticle. So here I'm going in with my uh, cuticle bit and it is the smallest circular bit that I can find and I'm pretty much going in and I'm making sure that the skin that used to attach the cuticle to the nail bed is removed as well as any, you know, things touched or attached, excuse me, to the nail bed that came from the cuticle, any dirt or anything stuck in there. I go ahead and use this to clean it out. going in with my fine grit nail file and I'm just filing down her natural nails just making them all even round you know circular <laughs> so when I put the nail tips on they grow out all nice and even I like that for myself so I always try to do that for my clients I know some people just put the nail tips on top because you're not gonna see it anyways but for me that's just my little OCD peace of mind so I'm just going in with like I said my fine grit uh, nail file and I'm just going and filing it up I do try to go one way because they say that does help prevent the natural nail from breaking more <laughs> beauties it is now time for the tip so I'm going in with my natural tip because we aren't gonna do any like encapsulation or any type of see-through nail so I'm just gonna go in with like I said my natural tips and I'm just gonna measure them out make sure that they fit from sidewall to sidewall and then I'm gonna glue them on You'll also see me file some of the um, sides of the nail tips like here just because I don't want it hanging over her nail way too much so I'm just doing it a little because you file way too much and now you have a whole different nail shape so yes I'm just making sure that they actually fit sidewall to sidewall and they don't over run onto her skin <laughs>
now we are gonna cut the tips down to the length that she desires and she does like them short because with her job she needs them very short so I am gonna cut them down I did cut them you know a little longer than what I knew she preferred because I was just trying to be funny with her but I do cut them down shorter and then I go ahead and start my prepping before application beauties as I'm sure you guys saw I did forget to buff out her natural nail before I added the uh, nail tips on but honestly I know this is probably having people cringe because I was actually taught that the 180 sanding band even on the lowest of the lowest speed like it's on a one even on a lowest speed it still kind of removes about 10 to 15 percent of layers of her natural nail bed so I'm actually Actually not supposed to be doing that so you know hey you live and you learn I'm I, I'm so open to corrective criticism so when I was informed of that I definitely did switch my habits this is a pre-recorded video but in my future videos you will see me use the correct bit that's needed for the natural nail bed so yes I know this is a little cringe but hey I'm beginner and I'm learning if you guys didn't know that now you do so I will show you in like I said the, my future full set Friday videos the nail bit that you're supposed to actually use on your natural nail bed that actually reduces the stripping of any type of layers on your natural nail bed so yeah but that's what I'm doing here I'm just pretty much making sure that it's all buffed out and that's what the other bit will do as well just so it's an actual complete dry area that you're applying the acrylic bead onto so it can stick and last better after you know you use your dehydration and primer which is my prep before I do the application but long story short <laughs> I'm yes I've learned my lesson I definitely took that into consideration I'm doing the correct steps now but that's pretty much what I'm doing here so I believe in the next two or three full set Fridays you'll probably see me doing this but I promise you my methods have changed <laughs> beauty so here I'm going back in with my extra fine nail file and I'm just making sure that they are the crisp square shape that she does like I like very sharp and crisp lines so I'm going to try my best to make sure that all my clients have crisp and sharp lines as well <laughs> and it looks like you know a natural nail so that's what I'm doing here just making sure and touching them up making sure they're all square even on the free end and so on and so forth
So y'all already know I have OCD, so I have to make sure that all of them match. All of them are the same shape. They're very crisp. I want to make sure, so you will see me throughout the video like double check and making sure things are good. But now we are here to do the application of the acrylic. So for this set, as you've seen by the thumbnail on her two middle fingers, I am just gonna be putting clear acrylic because we're gonna paint those white as well as her thumb. But on her pinky and her index finger, I'm actually using that pink glitter right there. So I pretty much created that myself. I bought loose cut pink glitter from Dollar Tree and then I mixed it with some of the clear acrylic powder from Mia Secret that I have right there. And this is the concoction that I got. I tried to measure the amount of acrylic powder more than the amount of glitter because you want to make sure that it's actually going to be an acrylic bead and not just glitter <laughs> and then next thing you know the nail falls off so you know and you also want to have the monomer catch on to the actual acrylic powder so it can transition and make it that hard um, texture so that's what I did and this is what is here yes I'm gonna clean the overspill on both sides I'm just trying to lay it down make sure it's you know good and where it needs to be and with these I did go ahead and encapsulate them with a level of with another layer excuse me level <laughs> I added another layer of clear acrylic on top just to make sure that you know when I do go to file I'm not filing any of the gold of the excuse me pink glitter I cannot talk today y'all but long story short I made sure that none of the pink glitter was touched when I was filing down and yeah that's what I have here so like I said the index finger and the pinky will look just like that and then I will be putting clear acrylic on the two middle fingers as well as the thumb Right, beauties I'm so sorry y'all my iPad had died and I did not realize it until after I was done putting all the acrylic on so unfortunately here is how it looks after I added the uh, clear acrylic sorry y'all were not able to see it but y'all will see me drill and file <laughs> so I'm going in with my fine uh, drill bit just to make sure that I smooth out all the acrylic and remove any excess acrylic as well if it's on there and you know make sure every Everything lines up when to touch so I'm going in and I'm going on a medium speed just making sure that you know I'm able to get as much off as possible but also making sure that I'm being careful so and again I am sorry y'all were not able to see me lay the clear acrylic on but just as I laid the pink acrylic that's how I laid the clear and if you guys really want to see just watch my other full set Friday videos y'all will see me do that plenty of times but yeah so let's get to the filing beauties here I'm going in with my 180 sanding band and it is on a medium speed as well and I'm going in and I'm just making sure everything is smooth and even after I do the fine course you know that just makes everything any excess acrylic and stuff removed as well as you know any divots in it you know smooth out as well so I'm just going in making sure and this is like my double touch up I shall call it but I did go ahead and flip my sanding band uh, over so it's like a fresher side as you see the white is on the bottom of the band 
hand as in the brown as you know a fresh side because I figured that would also help with better results when I'm doing this and so yeah that's what I'm doing here beauties here I'm going in with my coarse nail file and I'm just reshaping it making sure the acrylic is laid into a shape square you know as crisp as it was without acrylic I want to make sure the acrylic is as crisp as it is with it <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm doing here and beauties y'all gonna be very tight with me but my iPad ended up running out of space <laughs> so long story short this is pretty much the ending of this full set Friday I know it was a very 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 quick one but I still wanted to show you guys a little bit of this because as you guys seen in my last week full set Friday video this set is the set that I was taking off so if you are curious like how long it lasted and how it eventually turned out like I said the two middle fingers and the thumb were just plain white and then I just went ahead and put a top coat on this pink. But if you wanted to see how that turned out, go watch my last Full Set Friday video because I took these nails off and applied the Christmas set nails, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's a little flip-flop, but anywho. <laughs> so I am so sorry about that, beauties. Yeah, I know, I know. But I try to make sure I have a final review, at least for you guys, even if I weren't wasn't able to finish the video. But y'all... Listen, this day was a day, so at least I'm trying to show y'all what I have, okay? Because I could have just scratched this whole video, but I still want to go ahead and show y'all. So yeah, that is the ending of today's video, beauties. Again, I'm so sorry, but next week, I got you, okay? There's not going to be no issues. There's not going to be no nothing, okay? I got y'all. But I appreciate you for rocking with me. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I appreciate it. I know it's still a small channel, and it's still new and whatnot, but I have a few, like, real ones, so I appreciate you guys so much i hope you guys did enjoy today's full set all right beauties i will see you guys on monday bye